For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris. The U.S. military and new technology have a delicate but emerging relationship. We've seen plenty of robot projects, from Safer, the Navy bot with full firefighting capabilities, to iRobot's Warrior, the 450-pound machine with tank-like tracks and a surprisingly delicate touch. But it's when these robots or other unmanned drones go from opening car doors to, well, doing this. Then the question, how much is too much, comes into play. U.S. News & World Reports wrote an article debating this ethical gray area. To give you an understanding, the article shares some military initiatives that are closer to reality than you may think. Tanks controlled from half a world away, memory erasures that could prevent PTSD, and brain fingerprinting that could be used to extract secrets from enemies. That's some serious science to put in the hands of any one soldier, or with the way some of the military's drone planes are controlled, any one gamer. In his book, Wired for War, author Peter Singer says some of the best drone pilots are the 19-year-old Call of Duty gamers, who can use a controller as well as a pilot can fly a fighter jet. But controlling a plane is perhaps less controversial than controlling someone's mind. In an essay published in PLOS Biology, author Jonathan Moreno writes about the tension between science and security. Science employs rigorous standards of validation and the expansion of knowledge, while national security depends on the most promising deployable solutions for the defense of the nation. So we're left with the question, use the tech because the military sees a place for it, or wait perhaps too long for researchers to say it's safe. For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorse.